You have recovered the Orb of Possibilities from Bel Kardec. No doubt, you are being pursued by True Way forces. You must return the Orb to the Temple in Hathorn. I have notified Vedic Kryn. She is waiting for you in the Temple. Okay. How can I help you? So... Get going back to... Good name, that. Good name. Welcome, lurkers. Sir, we're detecting Cardassian warp signatures. It's the true way. They're hailing us. I am Golmutak of the Kriegar, Adjutant General to Gol Kardec. You are carrying stolen property belonging to the true way. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Are you insane? We're in orbit of Bajor. We could have ships here in a moment. He has cut off communications and power out weapon. Your orders hail Deep Space Nine. Sarah's here. Commander, we've been ambushed by the True Way in the orbit of Bajor. In the orbit of Bajor? But how could they? <sighs> Nerve of the... Sorry, I'm okay. I will borrow the Defiant and be there momentarily. Thanks, we'll hold out as long as we can. Right, so power weapons. Good, you're still in one piece. Let's teach these cardies a lesson. Appreciate your zeal, Commander, but let's not get carried away. Two ships, Krieger and... Right. Take the Caledon. Pass. need a full away team because this is supposed to be a friendly-ish world. Vedic Kryn indicates she is waiting to at for you at the temple. Bring the orb to the temple and speak to Vedic Kryn. Blast her away. Disruptive principle. Looks 
flex and Klingons are objecting to being held in the square and want to be able to walk everywhere I'm not going to get involved Let's go up to the temple priest Greetings do you seek the wisdom of the prophets? Can't say I do. I'm looking for Vedic Quinn. Vedic Quinn is in the temple office, just to the east of here. Thank you. How can I help you? Uh, what do you do? Peace be with you. Task to convey the wisdom of the prophets to the people of Hathron. The ways of the celestial temple are mysterious. What can be understood, however, is love. The prophets' love surrounds us. Nah, not my sort of uh, religion, that. Not as a Klingon. Speak to Vedic Kree. How may I help you? I'm here to return this orb to the temple. Wonderful. The prophet has smiled upon us this day. What was lost has been returned to us. You have done a great service for the Bajoran people today, and we are most grateful. It was an honor and privilege to carry this burden. Please, place the orb upon the altar. With pleasure, Vedic Prince. Return the order of possibilities. Oh, we're getting a vision. The service rendered is not the service desired. What does not belong cannot be returned. What has been returned does not belong. We must travel backward. When we gaze in the mirror, we see our faces as others do, but reversed. Your task abides. You have recovered an orb. Now you must return it. As you must return. Well, that was an interesting collection of people. Right, Prof Wisdom of the Prophet. Speak to the Reddit Crit. I would be honored to know what the prophets shared with you, if you are willing. Sometimes their visions can be very confusing, and I have some experience interpreting them. It was very cryptic, but they seem to suggest this was not their orb, that I must return it elsewhere. Elsewhere? But it is an orb of the prophets. Where else could it belong? Unless... Are you familiar with the so-called Mirror Universe? I know very little about it myself, but there is a book on that table over there by a Vedic Eth describing his experiences. Perhaps it can guide you. Thank you, Vedic Read on the Mirror Universe. I've been fascinated by the existence of this so-called Mirror Universe ever since our recent contact with it. I've interviewed the Embassy, Colonel Kira, and others about their experiences with the Mirror Universe. But many questions remain. It seems that the Mirror Universe has prophets, but are they the same prophets? There is no mention of a celestial temple, and uh, certainly the Mirror Benjamin Sisko with no Embassy. I shall partition the Vedic Assembly uh, for permission to enter the Mirror Universe. Next page. The Vedic Assembly has denied my request. Besides the debate about doctrines and theologies, the deciding factor was politic, political. The Federation has quarantined any access to the Mirror Universe and the Beja is seeking membership. I have continued my research by interviews, but my questions remain unanswered. I fear I have no choice but to renounce my seat in the Assembly and pursue entrance to the Mirror Universe on my own. 
I don't have the technological prowess to create one of those multi-dimensional devices myself, but I have an engineer friend who owes me a favour. I'm lucky to be alive. I managed to cross over to the Mirror Universe, but Terek Nor, as they call Deep Space Nine, has been taken over by the Terran Rebellion. They are using it as a base of power, attempting to reassert their control over the Bajor sector. Bajorans are not trusted and are most used mostly for mining and ore processing, a cruel irony given Bajor's history in both universes. But I was able to join with the Bajoran workers and get some of my questions answered. The Bajorans of the Mirror Universe are pretty much like us and sound as if their profits are, are most similar. They even have orbs such as we have here. However, to them the Celestial Temple is a myth or a metaphor, not a physical place such as ours. I do not know if this uh, is because it simply hasn't been discovered or if the prophets in that universe have sealed themselves away for some reason. The only way to find out is either cross over uh, uh, either cross over with a spaceship or somehow procure one there. I received a curious message from someone, somebody in the mirror universe offering me assistance. Note, shortly after making this entry, Vedek Eric uh, disappeared and was never heard from again. Sarah's here. We believe this mirror, uh, this orb is from the mirror or universe. We think we can pass into it through an anomaly we found earlier. Acknowledged. Be careful. The mirror universe is known to be more treacherous than our universe. And you will be cut off from any support here. I appreciate the concern, Commander. Uh, we, but we will be fine. No, not yet. We won't be up just yet. We'll get some equipment as we are in a city. crew have got. So they're equipped as well. Seven power supply or cells, thirty seven. And fifteen shield charges. Right. Oh well that's it. Let's actually dump some of the good stuff. Well, we actually had down there that we picked up. Thank you. That's worth keeping. That 
it's worth keeping even if you wind up selling them. That's desperately worth keeping. You can't sell that, that's the rest is mostly dross. The food. Yeah, the rest is mostly for us. That one will keep. Not sure where that one was. the job protective so we're breaking that down into its component parts so. beam up right beam up and set course for the badlands let's go Badlands, and we're heading to the anomaly. Acknowledged. Keep comm lines open as long as possible. Acknowledged. We have limited intelligence on the mirror universe, but from what we know, it appears the Terran Rebellion spread from Terok North, eventually forming a new empire. The Terran Empire has reoccupied Bajor. I believe this Captain Lita is the administrator of the Bajor Sector. Haneria the Torn, Chief Tactical Advisor to Golkar Deck of the True Way. You are not welcome here. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Readily. Activate the portal by bombarding it with tachyon radiation. Make the necessary modifications to deflect the dish. Bombard anomaly with tachyon radiation. Enter portal. Cross over to the other side. Orange to green. Greetings. I am Captain Lita of the Terran Empire. What a pleasure it is to have visitors from your universe. When Golkardek said you might be along, I didn't really believe him. But I couldn't afford to take the chance. Surrender. Now. And I will guarantee the safety of your crew. <sighs> what a pity. We could have had so much fun together. And now, I have to destroy you. You can. So we have 
have a science vest, two science vests. That makes life a little more interesting. Give it a chance to charge. I've got one charge left. I'd like to get up more. That's just a time thing. There's nothing I can do to hurry that along. They're coming into range. So this is, uh, we're clear to warp to Asia. Okay, let's warp. And our landing party will do the same again. Here, right. So we've got our landing party. Two technical officers, an engineer and our chief science <laughs> yeah, that's a bit weird but we have arrived now on uh, right we have arrived on Bajor uh, in the mirror universe and what I've been able to pick up in contact with Bajor Reconquered by the Terran Empire, it's occupied by them again. We should be on our guard. Right, same point we don't want to go picking fights when we don't have to. We know how things work out. Hey, yep. We might not want to pick a fight, but let's pick a fight with them. Sir, those appeared to be freeway soldiers. Should, could they have followed us through the portal? I believe it's more likely they were gold cadets troops waiting for us. Oh. Captain Lita. Ghoul Kardec was right. You are formidable, but pitifully predictable. Terran forces attack the invaders! I want them alive. A nice force field to get behind. Oh!
Right. Reach the temple. Well, the temple's here. We have the Cardassian over there. Greetings. Do you seek the wisdom of the prophets? Vedic Grin is in the temple office, just to the east of here. Read on the other universe. There's another universe that lies alongside us. There have been several crossover events through the centuries. These interactions have often been pivotal in our history. I am unable, amidst our recent term, to interview people directly uh, about their experiences uh, with the other universe. The Terran Rebellion took over Deep Space Nine and subsequently reoccupied Vajor. and weren't interested in the questions of pes a pesky Vedic. Uh, the discovery of the Celestial Temple in the their universe led to the discovery of the Celestial Temple in our universe. This left us with many questions. Uh, why weren't these events synchronous in both universes? Are there other secrets that we could learn from this other universe? I shall petition the Vedic Assembly for permission to enter the other universe. The Vedic Assembly has denied our requests. Beside the de debates in about doctrine and theology, uh, the deciding factor was political. The Terran Empire considers the secret of crossing over to the other universe a state secret. Bajor is already struggling under their thumb, and the Vedex don't want to create any further problems. I have abandoned my attempts to cross over at this time. Instead, I simply am uh, trying to make contact with the other universe. Perhaps if I could contact uh, my own counterpart, we could join forces. I've managed to make contact with my counterpart in the other universe. I didn't uh, reveal my identity. I offered myself uh, assistance sh should I make the crossover. My counterpart revealed many things about the other universe. The Bajorans are part of the, f the Federation, a peaceful and seemingly weak counterpart to the Terran Empire. The Cardassians occupied Bajor in their universe. Their celestial temple led to the Gamma Quadrant where a race of Minion dwelt and fought a war with the peoples of the Alpha Quadrant. Among this empire uh, called Dominion, the leaders were a species that called themselves Founders, the others called the Changelings, be a being called Otter who worked on their Terranor and apparently was one of their creatures but did not know his own origin. Their basic form appears to be liquid, but they uh, could shift to virtually any form. The ability of these changelings to take shape uh, various key personal caused the others people no end of problem. I must notify the assembly of my findings. Note: After reporting his findings, Vedic either disappeared under the mysterious circumstances. Foul play was suspected, but never proven. Right, Vedic isn't here. How can I help you? No, don't want to talk about those books. So where is the Vedic? Ah, right. You! You have interfered with my plans for the last time! Seems to be talking in the wrong direction. Right, let's... Not your affair.
Alright, change lane. Slowly wearing them down. Yay! Capture changeling. Got him. Got him. Alright. Slavetic. Uh, where is she? There she is. My team are basically okay. They're Thank you. I feel much better. But at Changeling, here, we only have stories. In any event, what was the purpose for your visit? I've come to return your orb. The orb of possibilities? But that was lost decades ago, during the first occupation of Bajor. However did you come by it? Never mind. The prophets teach us not to look at their workings too closely. Don't just stand there. Place it on the altar. You're most welcome. Oh. Looks like something else we need to do first. Gold Cardex pad. Deck to Golpalat. I have run into some complications. Namely, some agents have interfered with my plans. They have stolen the Orb of Possibilities. I assume they have returned it to the Bajorans by now. Fortunately, the anomaly remains stable. I was able to retreat to the Mirror Universe where I have taken shelter with my Terran allies. However, I believe they are waiting for my return. Therefore, I need you to meet with Dumatsu Khan at the facility in the Devil System in my stead. Coordinates are attached. Hey. It's happier that we've actually completed them. I have returned the Orb of Possibilities again. 
We are most grateful. We had thought the orb lost forever. You have restored the balance. Your enemies lie in wait. They want to prevent your return. But we shall restore the balance as you did. You have returned our orb. Now you must return. A oh, very strange set of characters again. So what just happened? You opened the orb case and suddenly everything went white. We appeared on the Durong in the orbit of Bajor and we appear to be back in our own universe. I believe the Mirror Prophets returned us and us consult with Verek Quinn. I think she pistol is better, uh, less intimidating than a, uh, a battle it like the ones there. Greetings! I did not see you enter the temple. I believe the Mirror Prophets returned me here. Indeed. I know little of the Mirror Prophets. But if they are like ours, then this is a great honor. Rarely do the prophets interfere so directly. I take it your mission was a success? Yes, the orb is back in its proper place. Then you have the gratitude of two Bajors. May the prophets continue to smile upon you. Thank you, Reddit Krim. So, Gul Kardec was a changeling. This does not bode well. An alliance between the True Way and the Alpha Dominion could prove disastrous for the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. However, the Orb has been returned to the Mirror Universe, and you have returned to ours. Nevertheless, we must stop this alliance before they can do any further damage. We shall analyze the pad you retrieved to see if we find this Ketracel White Factory. How can I help you? Congratulations, Captain. 